Good morning, YouTube pipe smokers. So touching back on my, has the world gone insane? Or mad, as I put it. You know, let me clarify something. It's not that I'm against conservative, uh, being conservative with waste and plastic. I understand the goal. I, you know, I don't want anybody to think I don't. The problem is there needs to be a solution, an alternative. So in the case of tractor supply, I would imagine the savings they, on plastic bags is substantial. You know, if you times it by all the stores Tractor Supply has, it probably would, would, would be a shocking number of how much it costs to have those plastic bags. But that being said, I'm a consumer. So yesterday I spent a hundred and, I don't know, some dollars in Tractor Supply. I bought some paint for the shop, some hardware. And I leave the store with no way to handle that material I just bought. On top of that, some of the items I bought were in those plastic blister packs, which I hate, that you almost kill yourself opening them up sometimes. What about that plastic? You know, this is the problem. And if you do research, as Kane Rod Piper suggested one on one of his drive talks, um, America is not the big offender of this problem. It's mostly, uh, you know, Asian nations and uh, where they have, um, you know, China and where they dump a lot of plastic into the waterways. So we get to be the ones that have to adjust to no plastic now. But we're not the abuser of it. And again, why isn't Tractor Supply passing some savings on to me? Is it unreasonable that if you spend over a certain amount of money, they give you some kind of alternative bag, uh, being they're saving money? Because I doubt many people are spending the extra 10 cents for the bag. And it's not the 10 cents. I mean, we all know that's... You know, I mean, pennies in comparison to what else we spend. But it's it's more of the principle. You know, it's like the shopping carts. You go shopping now, you got to spend a quarter. Not spend, you got to put a quarter in to get a basket. Well, I don't know if many of you noticed, but what's happening is the baskets are still all over the place. And people just leave the basket because I'm for one person when I go to work I take any change that happens to be in my pocket and put it in the drawer and if I stop any place and buy something I go home I put the change in a cup when I get home so I never have change in my pocket I can't tell you the amount of times I go to a store and I don't have the quarter for the shopping cart because I forget that I have to bring a quarter to get a shopping cart. Then you get the quarter back, it's not the point of the quarter, it's the inconvenience. Now I understand the goal of the store, people don't return the carts where they belong and they gotta pay a kid to round up the carts. But you know, that's the cost of doing business. Same thing when you go to a store, you buy something, you, you need to leave with some kind of apparatus to hold what you bought. I don't know, why is it now on my responsibility to bring some kind of container to buy, to um, store the parts? It just doesn't seem right.
but I get I get the reasoning. I just I don't know if I agree with it a hundred percent. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it except vent on here. But it's uh, it's just a frustration. Along with many other frustrations that the stores do, you know, the, the membership thing is another ridiculous thing. You go to Walgreens or, or, or any of the drugstore type of stores and you have to have a card to get the discount price. So they, that's only for they track what you're buying and then they must sell those lists to maybe Google or somebody. But it's a substantial saving, so you have to have this card. That seems, I don't know, it doesn't seem right to me. So if somebody visits this country, let's say on vacation, and they don't have a Walgreens in their area, let's pick Walgreens, for example, they have to spend time at the register, usually while I'm in line, filling out this application for a card so they can get the 10 cents off the item or whatever it is and they'll never use that card again if they go home and there's no Walgreens in their country or whatever I don't know to me it's just another marketing scheme And a lot of what's wrong with this country, I mean, in my opinion. I mean, you go to a gas station, you can buy a charger for your phone, uh, you can buy everything. I mean, it's like a little convenience store. You go to Home Depot, they got a little uh, refrigerator, you can pick up drinks and candy bars and chargers for your cell phone and... Everybody's trying to be everything to everybody. And it all takes away sales. That's why retail's in trouble. Because now you take appliances. Everywhere you go, you can buy an appliance. Best Buy, uh, Sears, uh, the big box stores now sell appliances. Before, you only had a few select places to go. And all the prices are relatively the same. It's not like you save, you know, it's all the same. I don't know. It just seems, uh, doesn't seem right to me. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and say those few things and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.